Hello and welcome back to Let's Play the Lamplighters League with me, Bring It Dawn. Let's conversate. Ms. Harlow, I got the package you were looking for. The diodes? No, the other package. No. Really? Yep. Star Commander Ray Farlan flies again. Three issues of Arcane Adventures. Not easy to come by on this side of the Atlantic. Which ones? 14, 15, and 19, but the back half of 19 is pretty torn up, so it's more like two and a half issues. You are a prince, Nikki. Uh, closer to a popper, so let's have some cash before I hand these over. <laughs> Worth every penny to find out how Farlin escaped the mines of Io. And what do you make of Locke's secret war? Anything that brings down Trace Marteau is just fine with me. If I have to go through the banished court to get to him, so be it. What about you? The look behind the curtain is all new to you too, isn't it? It is. And yet, the more I think about it, the more I wonder. Every shadow I saw in the corner of my eye, every shiver that I couldn't place, maybe this was the reason. Really throws a wrench into my understanding of how stuff works, I'll give you that. If you had asked me a year ago if the world was worth saving, you would have gotten a very cynical answer. But now some part of me, some part of me that I thought had been stamped out, wants to see more. A world worth saving, huh? I'm willing to allow for that possibility. From what I heard, you know some things. I know a few. What I heard was you built your gear from scratch. I mean, I've, I've been in some scrapes in my time, and I've never seen anything like your kit. I heard math whiz, degrees in chemistry and electrical engineering to boot. That's what you heard? Yeah. That's about the size of it. Well, you heard right, mostly. I had a head start on a lot of it from my parents' work. This is something of a family operation. Your parents know anything about all this mess? No. They're dead. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Well, they set you up, though. Education, skills. A fellow might think someone like you would have it made. A fellow might think that, but that is not the way it works in America in the year of our Lord, 1932. Looking good out there, champ. Sad but true. And nothing I need here. It warms the heart to help you. So can't get anything here. I believe Judith is maxed out now, right? Alright, who's next? We'll just go in order now. Uh, Latif. Got a pretty good head start. 14 skill points to spend. Let's do blind side. When attacking a blinded target, gain plus one evade. He also has the undrawn hand card equipped that he can blind enemies with. He also has Distract, of course. I don't want to get two skills or one. Let's do Running Shot 2. Hit and run attack that deals plus 75% additional damage per evade stack on Latif. Latif gains a free move action. If the target dies, Latif gains an additional plus one evade. and Enshrouded. Latif gains plus one evade when attacking while under the cover of smoke. We'll try to prioritize giving him uh, smoke grenades. Our next upgrade for Nocturne, Resonant. While Nocturne is shocked, her basic attacks gain a plus 15% chance to cost zero ammo. Let's assign the intelligence missions. Uh, here we get a medical kit one and two intelligence. Do whatever it takes. And then here we get a poison bomb one and two intelligence. Super exciting Watch stuff. Watch your back. <laughs> Alright, let's do the next prep mission. For Marteau's heist. Ghost in the machine. We'll get Marteau Regalio 2. 225 supplies and 13 skill points. Prepare for the Persephonite heist by destroying void generators bound for area X. Void generators manipulate small fluctuations in the veil between life and death to tap void effluent. 
a process that leaves hairline cracks in the fabric of the physical dimension. Prep work missions are optional. It's only five skulls. So it should be a breeze. As the agents prepare for the Persephonite heist, my network brought word of a potential complication. A shipment of void generators bound for Area X. After some consideration, a squad of agents now en route to intercept the shipment and destroy the emitters before they ever reach their hidden destination. This does mean delaying the heist by at least a week, and time has never been on our side. On the other hand, the last thing I need is my agents wading through the torrents of void affluent on a heist that will surely not lack for other dangers. Ah, I hear Marto's fond of these machines. Shall we smash them? We shall smash them. Ooh, the undrawn hand appears. Keep going. We can beat them. We can make it out of this. I know we can. Uh, Guten Nacht, Herr Guard. How do you like to taste the lead? Too good to pass up. Y'all may want to start running. Let's make sure she gets her AP back real quick. Y'all taking notes on this? Come on out now! All right. So, you want to see what I can really do? A free AP? This is your fault, not mine. A challenge sometime. A damn good shot. It's that. What a fantastic first and last turn. Keep close. A brochure. Void semi fluid applications plus health impacts. The dimensional effluent known as void is, in reality, a semi fluid gel with occultic properties. While Marteau Industries has yet to find any industrial applications for the substance, its potential as a crowd control agent is obvious. Because the material is so corrosive and sticky, employees who come into contact with voids should scrub clean with fibrous antiphylite immediately. Extended exposure to void may have physiological or psychological side effects, including but not limited to photosensitivity, stroke, hysteric stupor, psychopathic stupor, Moral insanity, narcolepsy, epilepsy, depression, mania. If any Marteau Industries employee is suspected of suffering from any of the aforementioned conditions, management should be alerted immediately. 
It's like all those, uh... Medicine commercials you see on TV nowadays. This will be of use. They'll fix your headache, but it's like a ninety percent chance you'll die in agonizing pain. But talk to your physician about trying whatever it's called. I don't know, insta kill. Below the surface. Beneath the water, weeds sway gently in the current. Ripples in the water betray the presence of something larger. A sinuous presence hiding just out of view. Together now! Uh, so it's just, it is just the Acolyte. Alright, let's go. I know I don't need to buff up this much for these enemies, but... Let us make this right. It's good to stay in practice. Okay. Oh, use the second wind on Eddie. So we could do the same thing on Anna Sophia. But it would just take longer and it achieves the end res same end result. Or ether. I would much prefer King's Ether, but beggars can't be choosers. I see a Magister. I'd like to take him out first, ideally. See if we can cause a little trouble. Come on, go check it out. You know you wanna. Wait, how did they get alerted? Oh, is there an enemy right there? That guy? We have righteousness That's alright, we'll our figure side. it out. It's only nine enemies. Can't spot as many as I'd like. Sniper down. Even if it kills me. A free AP, of course. If it kills me. Huh. Knowing exactly where to strike helps. So we get her cooldowns back. I'll supply a potential armor shred to everybody. So 
much pain. But it's necessary. Ah, uh, no cooldowns. I know more cooldowns. But we still got extra AP out of it. This don't come cheap, by the way. Oi! Hands off. That one's all mine. Have it. Got an eye out. She has so much AP, and I think it's all going to go to waste. Well, maybe not. Oh, it was the thing in front of me. I thought I was going after this guy. Not a terrible first turn. I wouldn't mind if the AI were a little smarter. As it stands there. Nah, this is a fight. Pretty dumb. Also no bleed, so we didn't get the Um extra AP. Winged him at least. But they will take some damage this turn, unfortunately. Yeah, we have an insane alpha strike, but usually the, the follow-up turn, if it takes more than one turn, we, we struggle a, a small bit. Bloody perfect shot, wasn't it? Oh, shoot, that cost her an AP. I forgot that that was the case. And we still can't reach this guy. Oh, man, what a waste of a turn. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Also, I should use the Hasten Flask 1 instead of the 2. Yeah, then we still have to take this out, too. Uh, what an awful... That's my bad. <laughs> really goofed up there. the hounds to the fox, haven't we? You know what to do? Then do it! Alright, let's see what we can do. Hello, AP. Mm. 
Run for the hills, boys! There's another enemy behind there. I'm not gonna try and get to him this turn. But we'll overextend ourselves and you know, take more damage than I need to. He's marked now. Oh, cool! I did aggro. Cool. Okay. Well, in that case, they've left themselves open. Increase the damage he takes, and get to work. Uh -huh. I've been paying attention. Good. That's sorted. I really thought she would take damage there. Move out. On the move. A memo. That's a Marteau Industries letterhead. RE the Void. Where does it come from? I'm gonna give it to you straight, Gary. Those void generators that Trace is so crazy for? Under the hood, they're just broken crossroads beacons. We don't understand why they weaken the boundaries between dimensions. We only know that they do. Dimensional agitation technology, just word salad from marketing. What the void generators actually do, the part that we can quantify and measure, is reach into some other reality and jam it open a crack. So you turn them on, let them run, and presto. Dimensional effluent on tap. But here's the wild part, Gary. We don't know where the void actually comes from. The shades use it, sure, but it isn't lacuner. The energy signatures don't line up. They seem to be pulling it from someplace else. Through the generators, we can replicate the phenomenon to an extent. But the truth is, we're fumbling around in the dark here. We don't know what we're playing with. You remember Ed from the Dimension Works lab? He tried to figure out what the generators are connecting to. Did some fancy math and pulled a bunch of junk coordinates from the Crossroads network. Two months of meticulous cleanup later, he was convinced he had the answer. Best as we can tell, he wound up in the heart of a dying star. Mark my words, Marto Industries will crack this nut in the long run. Ain't a dimension out there that Trace won't find a way to exploit. We'll figure out where the void comes from. We'll find a way to send a man through. But between us, Gary, I'll be darned if it's going to be me. Blake Carter, Marteau Crossroads Engineering. Mine now. Cheers. Into the old pocket with you. Well, that might be it. As far as uh, enemies are concerned. <laughs> How's that for a bang? Time to scram. What's this then? Hmm. What's this then? Tactical report, Lacuner Thralls. 
The dossier emblazoned with insignia of House Strum. Less of the Kuna denizens. More solid than shades and weaker by far, but plentiful. They're cannon fodder, and in this role they excel. Their offensive capabilities are limited to the damage they can inflict with their claws, a threat easily mitigated by gunfire. Threat assessment low. Exterminate with abandon. Strum Desert Command. Alright, let's a dip. That's another job done. Infiltrating Area X will be easier without those void generators to deal with. The void generators bound for Area X are in ruins. Marteau will, will replace them eventually, of course. The fabrication takes time he doesn't have, and money he'll be unhappy to lose. The replacements won't be ready in time to stand between his Persephonite and my agents. Comet, the Conjunction, the Hermit, and the Rogue. Can't level that up any further. Alright, so it goes up to plus 150% more damage against a marked target. May as well upgrade it since we have it. And upgrade the Comet to level 4. So plus 12% hit chance. And discard those two. The Marteau job won't lack for danger, but at least now when my agents enter the, the Lacuna, one less obstacle will stand between them and the Persephonite. Phenomenon and encroaching darkness removed from the High Submission the other side. Worth the effort. Good. What did you find out there? Good work. Without those void generators, Marteau's Persephonite will be a little less defended. Alright, we didn't hit midnight on the Nicastro Doomsday Clock, so we can do the Marteau Heist next time. No will have to do another last stand, but then we should be ready to enter the tower, unless... Yeah, no agent yet. I don't know if I want to put it off for a while or not to see if we can get the last agent. I would like to. But it seems randomized. Well, it is definitely randomized. So we may... Uh, it may just take too long. The juice may not be worth the squeeze. But either way for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.